Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to Let's Play Grandia on the Sony PlayStation. Last time, we made our way to the Bernan Mountains here, and it was a lot of, uh, well, it still is a lot of gorillas and cool-looking boars that are trying to kill us here, like these guys. And I want to see what we get out of this. Oh, hello, you actually do die. Okay, cool. Uh, great. Because I was running away from those guys, I might have got myself lost here. Uh, see, our goal right now is to figure out where that uh, snowball we pushed at the end of the last episode ended up at. And I gotta kill these chumps. Okay, so let's go up this path again here. I think we gotta find those grills that we ran into earlier. Or the snowball that we dropped. Okay, so this is where it dropped off at. Okay, I gotta kill these bastards too. I wonder how many micromos I got right now. I think I got like at least six. So I think that's the only thing that's been dropping in here is just these microma things. Uh, yeah. Six. Okay. Not that I'm ever going to use them. Uh, hello. Treasure. I'm going to use... I see you up there, Gorilla. Or whatever's up there. Experience charm. Plus two explosion resistance. Oh, explosion charm. I saw EXP. and Well, I thought EXP. Uh, let's give it to wrap, I guess. Uh, I see you up there, dude. Okay, apparently those guys have the ability to paralyze you. So watch out for that, I guess. Yeah, luckily it doesn't uh, last outside of battle. Damn it. So that's fine. Do I really care about you guys? No, go away. Go bother some other dude. I mean, you guys get more money than the the boars, and you don't summon your friends, so that's good, I guess. Uh, no, not America. I think Shockwave should be enough to hit all of you guys. Probably not going to kill all of you guys, actually, but it should hit all of you, at least. It looks like you guys all guarded, like, a little bit or something. Either that or just looked like it did. Oh, look, more Micromas. Which I'll probably never use. I'll probably just sell them all for however much gold they sell for, which is probably not that much. Okay, now can I get out of here without any more battles? Well, oh, and by out of here, I mean just out of this little passageway that we're in. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going the wrong way, but I want to make sure that we didn't miss anything here. Okay, yeah, this is where... I think this is where they all jumped off the, the cliff tops and came after me. Hello. Alright, were you guys actually guarding anything? No. Okay. That was a waste of time. Hey, it looks like we actually made our way out of there, and there's a uh, lean village. I do want to see if there was anything I missed, because, well, at one, I missed that entire snowball path to the to the left that I originally thought was, you know, the main entrance, or the main exit, or whatever. So let's go figure out where that is real fast. I've given up on not changing the camera around, because I'll try, I'll try not to as much as I can for my confusion's sakes, but at the same time, sometimes moving around does help. And really, that little mini compass thing does not do much. So I kind of have to move the map around at least a little bit here. Okay, I think this is where the first snowball was. Right? Where are we? I see you up there, dude. I am ignoring you. Go away. Okay, so... I think we've been over here, just didn't actually get anything. Uh, let's see, up here is... Nice dead end. Okay, so... I think that's the one I'm looking for right there. That snowball. We just gotta get to it. 
How much cash do we end up with here? I guess 75. It's not too bad, I guess. I see you down there. You stay down there, please. Okay, right over this way. Okay, I can see where we are now. That's perfect. Now that I have that, I can more or less figure out where we are. Keyword there, more or less. Nice. Go away. sword. Okay, cool. 38 attack at fire attribute. Okay. Not that we actually really need it that much, but it's there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, and I'll beat you guys outside. Alright, Lane Village, here we come. And I guess if we wanted to, we go back to Zilpadon, but I don't think we need to. Now, what's up with the Rainbow Lake? That's my question. This here's the Village of Lane. Pretty, ain't it? The men of Lane are real smart. Especially the three wise men. You know, hardly no question they can't answer. Want to ask them something? The three wise men, eh? Maybe they can tell us something about Lent. Okay, cool. Uh, hello, lady. Well, hey there, middle girl. Spring is just about over and summer's short. We need to harvest all we can. You're the strongest woman in the whole village, girl. If you leave, who's going to get the work done? I know, I know, don't worry. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll clean up and start working. So I guess uh, this is Milda's village, so we're probably going to lose access to her at some point. Oh, the inn. Okay, cool. We could uh, drop off our new fire... Actually, I'll probably just sell the fire sort of. I don't think we actually need it. Uh, yeah, nothing. I thought I heard something like a bell. Well, if it ain't Melody, what are you doing here when you could be at home stuck with Darlin'? Hi, y'all. I'm back. Actually, I was on my way home. Uh, hey, Justin, boys. Is there anything to do before I see my Darlin'? Uh, yeah, let's just save real fast, because, well, that's not a bad idea. And let's save over there. Alright, let's go around talking to people, but if you guys want to read the dialogue, go for it. There's probably going to be a whole lot, and I want to save my throat for the Darlin reunion here. Alright, where is the item shop, though? That's my question. I like the really clear purple water. That's actually really cool. Well, everyone gets tired there. I mean, and just because they're very stout women doesn't mean uh, doesn't mean they're invincible. That's oh, only the men who don't get tired. A vacant house. There's not a whole lot going on here, huh? So what's the point? Okay. Not sure what's going on there, but okay. You think there'd be like a treasure or something in there, but and we'll live. And stop changing my camera angle. Welcome to our shop, Derry. It's a little narrow here, but we got plenty of good items, Derry. I don't mind either if you want to check them out. The, check them out, Derry. Okay, you can sell me stuff too. Yeah, hey. Uh, okay, you're very talkative. All right, let's see if we can't uh, sell anything like these micromas that I'm never going to use. Slap Swede, goodbye. Uh, Blue Potion, we'll hold on to that. Rest Nut, get rid of that. Uh, well, they actually sell for 225 so that's not too shabby. What with about the eight of them that we got. Let's see, Fire Sword. I might just sell these various swords. Like, I never use them. I mean, I'll still hold on to them, but I don't use them that much. Explosion Charm, I don't use you at all. Energy Ring, I like you. Bald Knife, or whatever that is, I like that. Crap Bonds, goodbye. Uh, Silence Sword. That's actually not too bad. I might put that on at some point. 
Let me check out our levels real fast. 27, 30, 22. I think you're actually really close to your... Uh, let's see, you need 32 sword, 30 axe, which you don't have. Okay, you need one more mace. And I think you're on your mace right now, right? No, you're on the sword. That's why I'm getting so many damn items, because we have the uh, gill sword on. Okay. Okay, Fina, I don't think you need anything. Yeah, you just need more fire, water, and earth at some point, which we're slowly working on, but we're working on it. Uh, wrap, you need 24 dagger, which you have, 25 sword, which you don't have, and 26 bow. Uh, what are you on right now? You're on the knife. Uh, we don't need the knife anymore, so we're going to go take that off. I mean, yeah, it's really good with 60 attack and a lot of action, but we need other stuff out of you there, buddy. Uh, effective on humans. Magic block. Let's just go with the... All our knives are really strong at the moment. Uh, yeah, let's go with the discus. Because our swords aren't really all that great at the moment. Okay, that should be fine, I think. Alright, uh, no more magic since we have all our eggs used. I mean, I guess we still have one if we want to, like, see if we can sell it or something. But I don't know if we can actually sell it or not. Okay, what do we got item-wise? Hopefully they still sell the potions and stuff. Let's see, magic unblock gives resistance. 10 attack, 3 move block resistance, that's not bad. HP, panacea, fire attack, attack levels. Okay, a lot of attack level stuff, but they don't have the potions that I liked from the other town, unfortunately. Oh well. Alright, uh, armor. Let's see, mink coat, 25 defense, 5 against blizzard, ogre helm, we lose some move, but it has horns, iron clog, we lose more move, and 8 defense, 20 move. I think the only thing I would really care about is possibly the mink coat here for Fina. Actually, what does your cactus armor do again? Move block resistance. Eh, I think I'd rather have the extra defense in general. Yeah, we gained four extra defense there, so I'll take it. Uh, let's see, let's give it to Milda as well. There we go. Uh, Ogre Helm. Yeah, I'm not really going to bother with the minus move stuff or the extra move stuff, really, because I don't think it's necessary. All right, what about the weapons? Let's see, Ice Pick, Silent Sword again, Warhammer, Morning Star, Buster Axe, and Split Axe. Uh, nothing that I really care about here. Okay. Yeah, everything here seems to cause minus move. I guess they're all a race of big, stout, sturdy peoples, so they don't mind being slow and durable. Okay. Alright, what do we got in here? What's wrong, Milda? Did something happen? Darling. Darling, 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 I miss you so much, honey butch. Uh, correct me if I am wrong, but that's either a upright gerbil or an upright cow yep it's a cow or a bull I guess darling I missed you so so this is darling I missed those bulging muscles of yours when I was away I could have hardly sleep none I miss you too Milda without you napping next to me I could hardly read a line uh uh but tonight we'll finally be able to have a nice dinner together. Together. T -t together? Wait, you don't mean. 
Where are my manners? Y'all forgive me now. It's been so long. I just... Allow me to introduce you. This is one of the three wise men. The Honey Bunch Sweetheart, Darlin. Darlin, these are my new friends. Justin, Fina, and Rap. Howdy, y'all. Thank you for taking care of my villa. Welcome to Lane and our home. The Talking Bull? <laughs> Pretty much. Hang on one second. Well, then, I reckon you're the ones who stopped the Tower of Doom. I speak for all the folks in saying we're in your debt, Justin, Fina, and Rap of Kafu. Don't mention it. We handle characters like that all the time. No problem. We've been trying to find out what was petrifying things, but we didn't know the tower had a terrifying monster. Gaia, what is that thing? You and that Guido feller said y'all seen some people in forest turn to stone. Ain't that right? Then that might just have been something to do with why the ancient angel would disappear from the land. Okay, uh, calm down with the close-ups there, fella. Why, well, darling, those youngins are on a journey to search for the ancient civilization of Angelou. Hmm, before we talk about Angelou, something I've been meaning to ask. What's that stone you have there? This? It's called the Spirit Stone. It's a keepsake from my father. I knew it. The mythical, the mythical Spirit Stone, it really does exist. I owe everything to it. My meeting with Liete, the quest for Alent. And look, I have the key, too. What? That metal is the key to the legendary shrine of Angelou, the Medal of Wisdom. But it was never found. How could it be? It was Liete who told me to take this and come to Alent. I never would have thought it. The Spirit Stone, Liete, the Medal of Wisdom. Well, it's plain to see that y'all are the chosen one to go to Angelou. The chosen one to go to Angelou? Me? Seems as it's our duty as the three wise men of Lane to teach you all we know about Angelou. It's the least we can do besides thanking y'all for saving the Kafu Forest. Justin boy, ain't you all got some questions? Okay, let's start off from the top. Who are the Ikarians? We saw an Ikarian in Kafu, a girl named Lean. Now, just a minute, Justin boy. What did you just say? Did you say Ikarian? So it's true, when the power of the spirit stones gather in one, there shall be... There shall an Arcarian be born. And I've seen another one, Liete, two Arcarians, Lean and Liete, but just what is an Arcarian? Now hold on there, Justin Boy. Liete ain't no Arcarian. Why, she's the priestess of the Shrine of Alent. Oh. Oh, I thought she was, uh. Well, I thought she was Arcarian. I had no idea. Justin Boy, ain't y'all got some questions? Yes, I do, the petrified people. We thought we could find the answer once we got to Alent. But we could not get there. We cannot get, get the we cannot get the key to open the door. Only the one worthy of receiving the key from Liete is able to enter. The one who is worthy. That's you, Justin Boy. You mean I'm the only one who can save those who were petrified? Okay, every time he calls us Justin Boy, I I I keep thinking of the uh the the uh what's it, what, what's his name um. Uh, Pa Toad from Naruto, because he calls everyone Naruto Boy, Jiraiya Boy, and Everybody Boy, and yeah, so this guy's reminding me of that. Okay, what's Gaia got to do with Angelou? The ancient Angelou prospered thanks to a great power, but they were destroyed by that same power. I believe that it was a power that weren't meant for no human beings. A great power? Is it the Gaia? Hmm, I believe this is a matter best answered by Old Master Durlin. He's the expert in Angelou history. I see. Then let's go and talk to this Durlin guy. Hope all this has been of some help to you. Darling, you said that I'm the only one who can go to Alent. But how can that be? How do I get there? Tell me, tell me, darling. Pace makes waste, Justin Boy. The time will come. You will be able to go to Alent. Because you're the chosen one. Yeah, that's great. Ain't you a bear with athlete's foot? Come down, boy. Darling knows what he's talking about. I suppose you're right. Sorry, darling. Milda, thanks. There's plenty to learn before you find the way to Alent. Rest yourself here, spell boy. Talk to the other two wise men. You can have the house near the gate. Oh, so we get the abandoned house. Suppose y'all ought to see Durlin first. He's the wise man that knows about the wisdom of Angelou. Alright, let's go, boy. We're going to see a lot of each other. Like it or not. Okay, so Mildo's not leaving yet. So I guess this guy's actual name is just Darlin. Is that a cattle pen for him to, like, go and sleep in or graze in or something? That's kind of hilarious. Ooh, Milda's bedroom, what's up? Just got uh, giant skin bears or something on the wall there. It's actually a pretty uh, cool little bedroom. I mean, it's a bit pink and 
You wouldn't expect Milda to be all girly about it, but it's not too shabby. So, okay, yeah, that guy's name is actually just Darlin. Like, it's not just what uh, Milda calls him, because the other guy is named Durlin. So, I'm assuming that the final guy is going to be named, like, Dorlin or something like that. Two doors down the west of here. It's the house with the axe leaning on it. Okay. Got plenty of youngins, huh? So... So, when it comes time for breeding purposes, how does that work? Do they just pop out, like, half cow people or something? Right there's old Durlin's place. Two doors to the west. Y'all see an axe stand in there? There's youngins playing in front. Can't miss it. Okay. What's over here? House one... Oh, you're gonna be a wise man, huh? I guess you're a little bull. Yeah, I'm good at reading, but I can't like memorize all the books and stuff. Like, I can only do so much. I mean, there's some books that I could probably recite a couple chapters from, but still. Nothing wrong with wanting to grow up to be smart. Yeah, you raised this guy, so of course he, I guess you instilled in him to be smart, but now you don't want it to. So, all the dudes are cows, and all the chicks are, well, human, and possibly really tall, like Milda. Well, he's got respect. Nothing wrong with that. So they think that being smart will cause your horns to grow in. Okay. guess. I guess they're vegetarians here, if I had to guess, because uh, I'm not seeing too much in the way of cheeseburgers. That's for sure. Oh, so she was actually sent there to invest, uh, investigate the petrified people. Okay. So, if the... I thought I said Ikarians don't understand it, but... Uh... Well, I don't know how they're going to figure it out. Uh, kids, how you doing? Too dangerous to walk around the village across the bridges. So when he grows up, he's just going to be kind of stuck inside. And I guess because you're a thick-skinned cow person, you don't mind the cold, so I guess that's fine. Uh, I don't think we've seen the ocean yet. Actually, we have, because we crossed it. That's right. That's right. I, called it. I almost forgot about that. That was a long time ago, though. Oh, when it said dry the fish out, I thought it meant, like, the the lake would, like, dry up or something. Okay, but no, they're maybe, like, dry it, like, cure the fish or whatever. Okay, uh, it's just the one with the axe on it. It doesn't look like it, actually. Oh. Okay, that's Dorlin. That's not the one we're looking for. We're looking for Durlin. The one with the axe in front of it. So, where is it? House two with the yeah they're all they're all barn houses okay uh, let's see where is the hello yeah it's a cute little snowman actually I was trying to talk to this guy right here I don't know what you are uh, where is the okay that's the ex or that's the exit so. That's Dorlin right there. I need Durlin. Where is the... You said it was to the west with a axe. Uh, Milda's house. Oh, I guess this is it, because it does have the axe right there. It's kind of hard to see, but... Unless this is a different house with the axe. 
No, this obviously is not it. Otherwise, you would be Durlin, not random cow dude. Well, there's only so many houses here, right? Yeah, that's gotta go back outside. This is where we're gonna hang out at the vacant house. That's the exit. Still. Look, I'm gonna go in here just to be on the safe side, because, well, I can't find the other wise dude. Uh, 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 who, who am I? Now, 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 just get a hold of yourself, Master Dorlin. There'll be no talking like this. Who? Okay, apparently he's not having one of the better days. It's a snazzy little house, but, uh, well, he doesn't seem to be able to enjoy it at the moment. Okay, where is this damn house? I know e I know I went the right way, because I counted it out of my head which way east was. So I'm assuming we're in the general place of where we're supposed to be here. Unless it's over here somewhere that I didn't notice. D Durland's house. That's to the east, you idiots. Not the west. That's east. Because... Okay, this is where we came out of here, right? So... What are, I guess maybe... I guess because of the direction, yeah, I guess it's to the west, but... Next time, just say it's over in that direction. Like... Okay, I guess there's a bunch of kids around here, too, but still. Uh... Did I get lost already? Blacksmith? What's in the blacksmith? I mean, we already have uh, all the armors and stuff. You like the heavy breathing, huh? He goes a snorted. Oh, you actually... So you actually uh, use it for your business. That's kind of cool, I guess. A bit odd, but okay. There we go. Everyone's got their own little opinion here, I guess. Uh, I want to read what's on the wall, but... Okay, they can make weapons, but they don't care about that. Fair enough. All the weapons here seem to be kind of eh, anyways. The barn. I guess they do have other critters besides the husbands. Rapid Julian Lane Volvark. Oh. Hey, we have a rap here. Hey, that's the way to talk about someone's name. Social respect. A company called Raps, alright? Uh. Alright, let's try to find this uh, Durlin house again. Since apparently I managed to get lost already. Oh, here we go. Okay, Durlin's house. We're all set. How are you kids doing here? Yeah, we are out. Oh, he's got a son. Okay, here we go. Oh, so eventually he'll grow big and tall and cowy. A Moge merchant in bankruptcy court. Oh, he's she's upset because uh, he's getting all old and stuff. Madam Milda, huh? There we go. Alright, Durlin, what do you got for me, bud? So where's the, the wife around here? You obviously have a son, so where's the wife? Mix in a little extract of sulfa, root of mogi, leaf of lulu, and to top it off... Oh, hello there. 
Haha, <laughs> your hunting is such a darn sight better than your research, darling. What's that, botanicals? Oh, these are medicinal herbs. I just can't get enough of this research on Angelou. Who are the youngins, Milda? Now, where are my manners? Let me introduce my friends, Justin, Fina, and Rap from the Tower of Doom incident. Nice to meet you. Say, we've heard that you were an expert in Angelunian history, and we'd like to know... Say no more, Justin boy. <sighs> Great, this guy does it too. I've heard all about you all from the from that Mogai merchant earlier, feller. So we're like, famous? Wait, a Mogai? Guido, perchance? It's true that the situation on Kafu is very similar to the ending of the Angelunian civilization. So then it was the guy's power that destroyed Angelou as well. I think, hit the, I think you hit the nail on the head. But even if it was Guy, what's with all this people petrification anyway? We know that just before Angelou disappeared, an abnormal drop in the number of spirits was seen. In other words, I think this drop in the number of spirits was the cause of the petrification. So the spirits left and people get petrified. That's not really a good uh, argument to have spirits around or whatever. Wait, could it be then that Gaia grows by absorbing the spirits? That's a clever observation. If you look at it that way, things start to make sense. Then is there a way to return petrified people to normal? Well, if petrification is caused by a loss of the spirit, the restoring the spirit should return them to normal. Hmm, the words of yours say how to return the spirit. You mean it's all written somewhere? Well, the page is torn. I can't read it. What? Hey, if you're pulling a fast one, we're eating roast beef tonight. <laughs> Simmer down there, boy. No one's saying there ain't a way. Maybe if you went to a land, or... So we do need to go to a land. But the problem is we don't know how to get there. Old Dorland's the one who knows how, how to get to a land. Problem is... Well, it can't hurt for you to just go and see him anyway. You might get something out of him. All right, then, let's go. Durlin, thanks for all your help. Yeah, we've already seen Durlin, and he's not doing too great. Only known to certain people right now. Old Dorland's the only one. Yeah, the problem is he's kind of cuckoo right now. Eh, that's going to be fun. I'm going to guess we're going to have to go on a quest to uh, to get something to recover Dorland's mental state. Old Dorland's got a real bad for that Liette gal y'all talk about. Y'all think it'd have more sense. Problem is, ain't sure if he can't tell. Problem is sure, ain't sure if he can tell you much just now. We never can't tell. Dorland's tower southeast on the banks of the lake. Yeah, they might send us to get like a... Recover the mind potion or something so we can actually talk to this guy, but... They might not. Master Dorland, my friend here wants you to tell him how to get to Alint. Ooh, Alint, Mistress of the Wisdom of Angelou, place of the Shrine of the Akarians. That's it. If you know the way, it might help the youngins find a cure for all them petrified folks. I was told to come to Alint, you see, by Liette. What, by Liette? You're certain it was Liette. You, you must tell me about her. Were her eyes brown, green, or were they blue? Uh huh. Oh, Liette, beautiful Liette. Wait, Liette. What? 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 So you are Mr. Shrelete. You look exactly as I pictured you. Exactly. No, wait. I'm Justin. This is Fina. And a wrap. Anyway, we want to get to Alent. Yes, go, young ones. From the Rainbow Spring to Alent, go. To be the beauteous Liete. Now I remember about Liete. What? Do you know something? I remember I... Who am I? Where am I, anyways? What's he talking about? This geezer's had it. Milda, are you sure this guy's all right? Well, something is wrong. He's been like this ever since he left his horn in the lower village. His horn? You're right, no horn. So no horn, no information. That's about the size of it. A wise man's horn sold his knowledge. Right, Master Dorlin? Diddly dee, diddly do, Mr. Siete. Wake up, Master Dorlin. Don't fall asleep with your eyes open. Look, we're not getting anywhere. Lower village not... Lower village or not, we have to go get this geezer's horn, all right? Rap's right. Won't do no good to just sit around here. All right, then. Let's go. So, if you guys knew that we had yeah, like had to get his horn, why didn't you just, like, send out a scouting party to go get it or something? The lower village used to be Lane. Sure was a right good place, but years ago, something real bad happened and we had to pull out. So we all moved up to the village we live in now. Now that I think of it, it must have been Gaia that caused it all. So our village might be in the same situation then. Where is this lower village anyway? It's just southeast of the village gate. Just go out the gate and you'll find it. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and save up, and then we'll go check out the lower village next episode. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.